We're going to take another look at the 2024 recruiting class, and we're going to shine a spotlight on four-star edge rusher Logan Thomas, who signed with Notre Dame. We're going to look at the highlights. We're going to look at his 24-7 sports player profile page. But before we do that, you need to click that subscribe button because we're covering the 2024 recruiting class every single day this offseason, player by player, and you need to know what your players look like before they hit the field. But here he is, Logan Thomas, four-star prospect, Ranked 19th among edge rushers, 20th in the composite, 6 foot 3, 210 here, enrolled with Notre Dame, 25 offers already here, and Deion Sanders tried to get at him, but we're with Notre Dame here, and 25 is a good amount of offers. Looking at the scouting report, they got a fair bit here. A greener edge player with adequate burst and power, upper half that excels in backside pursuit. Quickly made a name for himself winter of junior year when he was named MVP of the National Combine. He's going to test through the roof. He's going to show good size adjusted athleticism. He's going to have good pop off the snap out of his stance. His highlights are going to be fun to watch. I guarantee it. 4 7 5 40 yard dash. And that could be quicker once he's trained up for that. I imagine so. We see a lot of that with high school recruits as they work through their collegiate career. And then all of a sudden at the NFL Combine, it's quicker. That's how that works. Garrett Wilson, wide receiver of the Jets. Did not test well in high school. Then we got to the Combine. Four threes. That's just something that happened. So he might be quicker than this time is what I'm saying. This time's not accurate on speed. But 31 and a half inch vertical jump. 4.5 shuttle here. We got speed. We got burst. We want to see it on the tape. That's where we want to look at here. We're with Notre Dame. We're enrolled. Big time program here. Four star prospect. Going down the line here. On three has him at 27. ESPN 31. Rivals 10. Edge at 6 foot 3, 210. A little lighter in the pants. But again, they said he's greener. So he's going to build on that. That's definitely so. Going here, 6 foot 3, 210. I think we're going to have some upside. And with him being greener, 25 offers still. That's that's good. Other schools, OU after him, top tier power five programs, Georgia, Texas. That's a good thing to see. Time to look at the highlights. This might be the funnest set of highlights we'll see all day here because we're covering multiple players a day. This might be very fun to watch. Let me know what you think in the comments below. We're going to see some speed. Yep. There's Pop right there. Yep, he's quick. Flowing to the ball carrier. Chases him down like a gazelle. Well, now it's not. No, wait. I, I watched the player strictly. If you see anything else, just point it out. Feel free in the comments. Say what you want. See something I don't see. I watch him strictly. So there's other things going on that I don't see. But I'm seeing good Pop off the set. I'm seeing good quickness already. Peels off good. Look at that. Great in containment. Great in pursuit. Wraps him up. He's nasty. He's nasty. Yep. Yeah. Definitely worth playing on the Power 5 level. One of the quickest pass rushers in this year's class. I'll say that much. He's got a frame where he can add size. And what does that tell you? You could say, hey, he's kind of small for the position. He's kind of lanky for the position. Or you can look at it like this. And this is how I look at it. That, that just adds more upside and it's upside that's very foreseeable because adding strength and size at his age it's 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 a lot it's very easy it's very easy to do and a year or so in Notre Dame's weight room I like that I like being able to see where the player can improve and see how easy it can be I like that I consider that kind of almost a plus because I know like things are going to get better with him. As long as he puts in the work. As long as he does what he can do. But from what I see foreseeable. There's upside here that can be tapped into. Getting low there. It's quick. It's quick off everything. 
Your rebuttal to that be if he puts on more size, will he slow down? Probably not too much because you can't teach those quicks. His hands getting in the right spot. I'm sure there's probably some technique things since they noticed he was greener. I'm sure. So think about with that context from what we're seeing already. I think sky's the limit. I think sky's the limit. And when we're this low in the rankings, upside is huge for a player. Huge. I think he's underranked a little bit. I'm gonna say I say that about a lot of players. In this range. I know why he's a little bit low. He's greener. He's lankier. And the recruiting sites don't like players who are a little bit on the thinner side. Where when I look at a player, I'm like, okay. Ooh, look at that bull rush. Look at that one. But I'm like, hey. That's untapped potential. That's very foreseeable. That I can see happening very quickly in his career. And if he does it, he puts in the work, and he's about it, then he's going to be a monster player. We got speed, we got burst, we got strength, we got length. We got to add a little bit of size, but that's okay for me. That's okay for me. I see a lot of upside. I see a lot of speed. I see him nasty in the pass rush. I see him nasty in pursuit. You can't get away from him. That makes him great in containment. That also makes him great at pass rush. And then everything else is going to get fine-tuned. If he puts in the work, everything else gets fine-tuned. Everything adds on top of that. But we have the natural abilities that a lot of top prospects don't have. That's quickness. That's speed. That's the short area quickness where you get off the block, you move laterally, you pop off that step. Not all the players in this class that are ranked a lot higher than him have that. So we add on top of that. You'll have more than some of those top players. That's something I'm seeing. That's something that gets me very excited when I look at this kid. I look at the upside here, and that gets me juiced up because I'm very excited for this kid. I want to watch him develop over time. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button on the way out. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.